Hi, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. So we've got a question from a fellow boulder uh, named Richard. And Richard asks, my question is to why I get different voltage and amp readings between my control panel and my Balmar battery monitor. Balmar almost gives me about one volt higher than the control panel and is about five to 10 amps higher. Which ones are correct? The control panel or the Balmar battery monitor? So it's, it's a really great question because ultimately your battery monitor is telling you the truth at the battery. It's sort of like checking your heart rate you know, on your wrist or on a finger versus right at our heart. And what I love about battery monitors is there's nothing in between. It's voltage at the source, voltage at the battery, amps at the battery, not amps downstream. So a properly installed battery monitor will tell you the exact voltage at the battery and will also tell you the amps going in and out of the battery bank. Our DC panels on our boats are downstream. They're way off and under load, that voltage will almost, almost under load, and this is important, under load, the voltage at the battery and the voltage at the panel will always be different. The panel voltage will always be lower because you have voltage drop and that's where the concept of voltage draw comes. So, if the panel is undersized or connected with undersized wires, which by the way happens all the time, especially if your boat's not new and we've been adding stuff to our boats over time, you'll, yeah, and in this instance, Richard's saying he's seeing a fault of difference. Well, that's honestly not all too common. Doesn't mean it's right, but it's not uncommon. And it's very possible in this sense that the wire connected between the battery and the DC panel is undersized for all the loads or simply a bad connection, bad crimp. So that's the first thing. Now, last thing, amps. Your current meter on your panel only shows the amps that are going in and out at the panel. But let me tell you this. We have, as boaters, have a lot of loads that are directly connected to the battery that do not go through the panel. It could be, for example, an inverter. Inverters generally are not powered at the DC panel. They're powered directly and take power directly from the batteries. Uh, people will install bilge pumps directly to batteries and will bypass the panel. It could be a downriggers. Boaters are going to install downriggers directly to the battery, bypassing the panel. Installing a new fridge, you know, they're going to install the wires, they're going to bring it down directly to the battery. Um, it could be tons of things that are directly connected to the battery bank that bypass the panel. And the advantage with a battery monitor, another one is a heater. All those loads are gonna be connected, and if you've installed your shunt right, or your battery monitor right, you're gonna see all that current happening at the battery, even though the panel is only showing a subset of all the loads. And that's the distinction, and it's important to remember why battery monitors are better than voltmeters or amp meters at a DC panel. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got further questions and you're wondering about your own boat, please ask questions below or send us an email with your questions and we'll get to them hopefully as soon as possible. Also, we're trying to keep this channel ad free, so please donate on the PayPal so that we can keep doing these productions and also potentially buy one of our lovely hats on our merch store. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube and get our weekly updates. We're posting about four videos a week right now and also thanks for watching.